Hey y'all, welcome back. So today's video is all about my DIY nail polish wall that you see behind me. A lot of you have been requesting this video because I post this wall in a lot of my Instagram stories and things like that. And also if you remember in my current collection then and now or whatever the title of that video was, I had mentioned that I was going to do this at the beginning of the year. So we did complete this project early on in February, sometime the beginning of February. And when I say we, I mean me and my dad. And we did it all in the course of a weekend. Well, he actually got the wall completed in like two hours or less but as far as organizing and putting the polish back on the wall that took me a couple of days to do because I had to do them by brand and then by color and it just took way more time than I wanted it to but the end result I'm really happy with it so yeah I'll try to link everything that we use to create these shelves down in the description box below how much everything costs where we got everything I'll try to remember to do all of those things for you guys to make it easy as possible for you if you want to try to recreate this wall yourself so yeah if you would like to see how my dad and I created this DIY nail polish wall then just keep on watching so here's how my nail polish wall looked before this is actually three DIY shelves that I made myself actually my very first YouTube video was on how I made these shelves back in 2012 and so yeah a lot of this footage is gonna be from IG stories y'all because I completely forgot to do a before of the wall before I started on the new shelves but yeah I took all of the polish down and put it in this box here so that they could sit on the floor while the new shelves were being made So here's a before photo of the wall with the wooden shelves that I DIY before and as you can see they have been very well used they've been so good to me for so many years but it was just time to move on so I patched up all the holes on the wall here and touched up the paint and I'm ready to go so I met my dad at Lowe's and he suggested that I buy this primed pine and they come in they're already white and they come in one by eight by three I think that's what I got one by three by eight and I started out with eight of them I believe and um, yeah being primed you don't have to paint them they're already white so that turned out perfect for me and then we needed the brackets that go with them and the brackets that I got are two and a half by five eighths I believe and I got 32 of those because you were going to need four per bracket that's what my dad said even though polish isn't heavy he just suggested four per shelf that way you won't ever have to worry about the shelves falling or wobbling or being weak at all and then also I bought these drywall anchors so that I didn't have to worry about finding the studs in the walls I just use these drywall anchors and these are the same drywall anchors that I used in the DIY shelves from the video that I posted in 2012 same exact thing so I wanted to make sure so I brought two bottles of polish with me to make sure that the shelves were going to be wide enough to hold at least two bottles of OPI because I think of all of my polish OPI is the fattest two bottles that I own so I wanted to be sure that they were going to fit properly on each shelf before I chose this width of a shelf so as far as measuring for the nail polish shelves, I wanted the first one to be about 40 inches up. That way I would have enough room on my white storage cubic thing here to be able to put nail supplies and my perfume and things like that. And then with the width between each shelf, I took my tallest bottle of nail polish so that I would make sure I had enough room between each shelf. And my dad measured about five inches between each one to make sure that I would be able to reach in because I knew I was going to double up on the polishes on each one of these shelves. I wanted to be able to reach in behind and be able to get to all of my polish. And as far as the brackets, each one is about five inches in on each side. And then the other two are kind of spaced evenly in between. But you gauge where to put your brackets based on the length of the shelf that you're going to be using. This is just the measurement that we used. And then after we got all of our measurements down, we just started screwing them to the wall. So here's another look at my old wooden shelves before. And here are my beautiful new shelves. I just love how it turned out. It's such a continuous flow of polish. It's gonna be amazing as a backdrop or just as a beautiful 
art piece in the room. It turned out so, so good, and I'm so happy that I finally did it. It was so much fun to be a part of the process of putting these up on the shelves with my dad. He's so good at carpentry work and things like this. His pencil marks are still there, but I don't even care because you're not gonna even be able to see them when the polish is there. But the spacing that we chose between each polish just turned out perfect. It's gonna be amazing. I love the way they turned out. Okay, so here I am sitting down to sort out all of the polish. And I'm glad that I put the little styrofoam shelves in the box to kind of help me get the polish out of the box because otherwise it would have been even more of a mess than it turned out to be. But I decided to just place them on the floor by brand and it took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. I ended up doing this over a day or two, but I was determined to get it done because I was tired of staring at polish on the floor. But it took me a day or so to separate them all by brand. Okay, so here they all are separated by brand. So I'm just going to start putting them up on the shelves, y'all. So the very top shelf is where I put all of the polishes where I might just have one polish from that particular brand and then down to the next shelf is when I have two polishes or you know just a few polishes from each one of those brands and then down as we get lower into the shelves is when I have a bigger collection from specific brands and then I start putting them up by color as I saw best. And then after that, I just started adding my bigger collection from mainstream brands like SC, China Glaze, and Sinful Colors. I saved OPI to the very last because I had so many of them and I was determined to put them up by color. I knew I had a lot of OPI polishes, but I guess I didn't realize how many until I decided to separate them by brand and then by color. I'm just excited to finally see all of my OPIs together. I think arranging them by brand is going to help me better see what my collection looks like as a whole. So here's all of my OPI after I separated them out by color as best I could and I actually feel like I don't have enough of them. Isn't that crazy? So here's a really good before shot of how the shelves looked previously with the wooden shelves with polish on them. And here are my brand new shelves, fully stocked with all my beautiful polish. It looks so amazing, y'all. Like I said earlier, a continuous flow of polish. Why do I feel like I don't have any nail polish now? And if you follow me on IG stories, then you saw my personal struggle with replacing the sofa that I had in here with this beautiful storage bench. This is the sofa before. It was just big and bulky. It was really nice, but it was just too big. So I replaced it with this tufted gray storage bench and I just love it. So as you can tell here, I reserved the bottom two shelves for all of my OPI, but I think I'm gonna have to use more because I didn't realize I had so many of them. But you can see how nice it looks to double up the polishes on the shelves so that it doesn't take up so much space. And I've actually done that with all of the brands that I have the most polish from. I've doubled up on the shelves to kind of help save space. And here on the very top shelf is where I put all of the polishes that I probably only have one polish from that particular brand. So yeah guys, these are my new nail polish shelves. I just love them so, so much. And if you're wondering how many polishes each shelf will hold, if you're using OPI, it'll hold about 144, 145 polishes, somewhere in there. And I have a total of eight shelves here. I originally had planned for 10, but I was also trying to stick to a budget of $100. And I actually spent about 75 or 80, so I was well under my budget and I'm excited about that. I decided to keep my cube storage shelf here because I wanted to be able to store all of my nail polish supplies on top and my base coats, top coats, all of that. And then on the other end, I have my perfume collection. I just wanted to store as little as possible up here, y'all. No clutter. I was looking for a certain aesthetic, and I think I achieved that because it's really nice and clean, very minimal, and I love the way it turned out. So here's another look at the wall as you come into the room. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It looks like a piece of art to me. It turned out so well, and I'm so proud of it, y'all. I'm so proud. And here's another look from inside the room when I'm sitting at my desk. This is what I see. 
And I just have to thank my dad because if I had done this by myself, these shelves would be so crooked and uneven. It just would have been a mess. So thank you, daddy. I love you. So yeah, y'all, that's all I have for this video. I hope it was helpful for anyone out there looking to build a polish wall like this. Like I said, I'll try to leave everything that we use down in the description box below. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.